I think my love for horses was always there. I somehow think I was born with it. When I was a graphic designer, I also could own my first horse. I could pay for it and I bought it. And um, at first I didn't think of taking the camera to the stables. I don't know why I didn't mix it. I have no idea, but um, I came from an appointment um, with, a, with a dog. Um, that I had a photo session with um, and I wanted to visit my horse in the evening and I just sat in the in the meadows and um, watched the horse okay. and had my camera with me and took the first photos. I think that is the point where I knew this is something I was going um, to do for a very long time. For award-winning equine photographer Karina Meivold, photography is not just an occupation. It has taken her on a journey, not just around the globe, but on a personal level too. Yeah. I think I was spent my whole life figuring out what horses mean to me. Um, and I think that's one of the main drives I have in photography. Because there are so many different characters and many different philosophies. Um, how you can use horses, how you can spend time with horses, how you can even read them or communicate with them. And, um, figuring out okay. what horses mean, not only to me, but also to the people, different kind of people all over the world, is something that will take a whole year or could also take 10 years or maybe my whole life. This is one of my favorite and most important pictures because if it weren't for that first session, I maybe wouldn't be the photographer I was uh, or I am today. Um, this is a completely blind mare. Um, she can't see anything and we had this very special photo session where we let her completely free and do her own thing. Somehow she she made me realize that I should um, live in the moment and not think about what's in the future. Um, in that moment she turned around and ran away and I thought it's extremely beautiful how she walks through that through that bushes like a door into the light and the bushes are highlighted from the back in a really golden or maybe even reddish sunset which gives a dramatic feeling to it and her tail is like on fire which I love um, which gives us mare that um, very strong character look um, and yeah I really love it and it will be forever be one of my favorite pictures. I started with all of it because I knew the pain that comes with letting go of a horse and not having any nice photos. I want people to have that memory of the horse, like they're not only seeing the horse in front of them, but also how they see it in their hearts and how they can feel it. And um, that's something that um, created the biggest drive in me. I think it's important to get a lot of information up front. That's why um, when I'm talking to the client, I always ask about their story. Then I just observe the horse. I like to watch horses a lot. So while they're speaking, I, I see how the horse reacts, how their ears move, how their muscles move. Um, do they, um, are they nervous? Are they shy? Um, and I try to, to focus on all those little things and because these little things end up into this whole character I can show. When I go out, I always try to take photos of the horse, of that one particular horse in front of me. Um, I want to see the character, I want to see maybe even the history, the story of that horse, because every horse has a story. Um, so I want to capture that, I want to show that, and I also want to give the viewer of the photo um, the possibility to, to see something else on there, to, to think about the image and lose himself in it. This variety of the job is, I think, what makes makes it the most amazing job for me because you you never know what's going going to happen. Maybe it's just a nice afternoon spent with horses. Maybe it's it's a precious moment shared with people with the owners. There are so many different ways to 
to describe it. I, I love every angle of that job, every, every aspect of it. If I have to sum it up what horses mean to me, um, I would say they symbolize freedom and power and strength to me. But they are very, um, very soft also. They are very gentle and they are very loving. But then again, they can also be very cruel. I mean, there are so many different facets and faces and traits that they're there. There's, horses are everything. They are everything in one. And what you see in a horse is a reflection of what you carry inside yourself. And that's something I think what is fascinating about horses.